You can't be serious. Why? Why, why? Well, guys, if you're watching this episode of Gas Diesel Garage, you own a Chevy Cruze or something similar, and you accelerate and it shakes and bucks and it feels like it's gonna blow up. Well, some people may think that you have a spark plug issue or ignition issue, rather, I'm sorry. And then some people may say you have a transmission issue because it seems like it's not switching gears like it's supposed to. Well, what if I told you it was none of those problems? Now the absolute first thing we need to do is we need to address that check engine light. I know I didn't show you it earlier, but this thing was blinking its butt off when I was trying to accelerate. So we're gonna go ahead, grab my Solus here. Yes, this is old school. And uh, we're gonna see what this uh, check engine light is. Well, okay, we have two trouble codes that are current. Right here, as you can see, the P0299, the turbo or supercharger is under boost, okay? And then a random misfire detected P300, P0300. Well, let's see what this other stuff is. I was looking down through here and I got O2 sensors that are reading rich to lean. So in other words, they are starving for some reason. Well, first off, this Chevy Cruze is, is not uh, equipped with a supercharger, although it is equipped with a turbocharger. Now, a turbocharger uses exhaust gases to uh, spool up a turbine, then ejects that air into the intake to provide more boost. Now, if the exhaust pressure is not getting into the um, uh, turbine, guess what? You're gonna have a problem. You're gonna have misfires. You're gonna have sluggishness. You're gonna have bucking and everything else. So, and then you look at the O2 sensors where it was reading rich to lean. Well, lean means it's not getting enough. Rich means it's getting too much. So if the O2 sensors are reading lean, then that means we have some kind of blockage. Now, in my experience, the catalytic converter has a lot to do with that. And um, I'm pretty, I'm, I'm actually pretty astonished that it hasn't thrown a P4, P0420 code, which most uh, uh, catalytic converters will throw. So now what we're gonna look at to, uh, you know, to confirm my uh, theory on this, which I don't know, shouldn't be a theory because I've actually had this happen before. But I wanna give you some, um, some, some content on, you know, the reason for me condemning the uh, catalytic converter. So uh, let's look at some live data with the engine running and see if this thing drops to lean with the O2 sensors, which obviously it does because we got codes for that also. Well, this graph doesn't look very uh, promising. As you can see here, eight, uh, O2 sensor number one, that's the before cat sensor. And then O2 sensor number two, that's gonna be after the cat. Now, see all this? Rich to lean, rich to lean, rich to lean. It's, it's constantly going back and forth. Well, this down here should be reading pretty much almost the same. See how that thing's flatlining? That means that it does not have efficient exhaust pressure going through the catalytic converter. So what I believe, I believe we have a problem with the catalytic converter. Watch. Now here's something else I can show you too. Let me sit there and try to uh, accelerate this thing. See, even when I rev it, it should be going a little bit faster than that. It should be doing all them scribbles just like that. Yeah, we got issues. Now I need to get this uh, car up in the air so I can climb up under there and get to that catalytic converter bolts.
I think I see a forklift. Okay, now we're gonna get started on taking this cat out. So the first thing we need to do is we need to grab our inverted E10 and uh, take these three bolts out so we can get to it. Okay, now that we got the old cat off, really wasn't that bad of a uh, job. I mean, pretty easy. Three nuts, two nuts, and one nut. And it came off. But anyways, got a new cat here. And yes, I have a link in the description below on how to get yourself a new catalytic converter for probably about maybe a couple hundred bucks, maybe even cheaper. But like I said, link in the description below on how to uh, get yourself one. And uh, don't get screwed by the dealer by getting it replaced by them and then paying basically almost three times what it actually is worth. So what we're gonna do now is we got to take this uh, heat shield off. We gotta reuse the band clamp, of course. That's gonna go on there. 
but we need to transfer this heat shield on there without breaking these uh, E these inverted torques, which are, are E10, just like the uh, um, the manifold heat shield that I took off earlier. And uh, I don't know if we're gonna take that off. I don't think we can. It might be a pain in the butt, but anyways, we got replacement bolts for that, and of course both gaskets. So uh, let's just go ahead and get this thing on the road. Now before I put that cat back in, I want to check out this adorable, tiny, little turbocharger. I mean, it's shoots smaller than my fist, but isn't that cute? We just reverse the process that we just did. Just shove this right up in there. Well, I did a little bit more investigating and I found out that the coil pack on cylinder one, that's pretty much been destroyed and fried. And if you check out the corrosion on that, that looks pretty bad. So if you have a cylinder that's not firing like that one, that cylinder one, 
uh, that means that it is just dumping fuel into that cylinder and catalytic converters do not like fuel believe me and they will be destroyed so uh, normal maintenance stuff would pr pretty much combat that problem so uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it well obviously we put the brand new cat in so next we need to do is replace that uh, coil pack assembly and we're gonna do some spark plugs so uh, let's go ahead and take care of that now and then go on the final test drive and see if this thing has been fixed which I believe it's fixed because I wouldn't have done all this all this work if it didn't fix it so let's go now of course Amazon hooked us up with a fairly decent price on this coil pack so uh, let's go ahead and open this thing on up link in the description below on how to get this exact coil pack for I think it was about 50 60 bucks i, th I think that's what that, that what was paid but anyways all right okay. check that out brand new let's go ahead and put this in and some spark plugs Okay, now that we got the catalytic converter installed on the car, now we need to go back to the scan tool and see if anything has changed. Well, so far so good. No check engine light. And listen to this thing. Look, listen, you can actually hear the turbo now. That's a good sign. And let's go over here to the scan tool. Remember earlier, my, my O2 sensor one, the first O2 sensor, see how that's reading? Now look what O2 sensor number two is doing. See, told you they should be matching. Lean, lean, rich, lean, rich, lean, rich, all that good stuff. So if I have to say so myself, this one is fixed. All right, now we're in the car. Let's go ahead and see what this thing can do. All right, let's start it on up. All right. Sounds pretty good already. No check engine light, good stuff. accelerating like it should well the moral of the story guys if you don't have any acceleration uh, go ahead and check your spark plugs check your spark plug wires check your uh, coil packs and uh, see if you got any damage or if they're worn out because unburned fuel is gonna go straight to that catalytic converter and destroy it and if you take it to the dealer you will get screwed believe me I worked for the dealer for many years, so I know how they operate, and catalytic converters are uh, pretty much, you know, a cherry on the ice cream, or ice cream on the cherry. Anyways, one of those. Well, guys, if you enjoyed that episode of Gas Juice Garage, please like, subscribe, share it with your friends, family, neighbors, cousins, uncles, aunts, all that good stuff. And uh, with that being said, we're just going to have to catch you next time, and uh, remember, don't get screwed by the dealer. Dang.
forgot what I was going to say. This is Gas Diesel Garage reminding you to help control the pet population, have your pets spayed or neutered. Goodbye, everybody.